Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to continue with our pandas lesson. So, alright, we have been poking around and messing around with this little guy right here. So now, we haven't done a whole much, a whole lot to it. We've, we've kind of we've organized it we've made some slices we've chopped it up a little bit we but we haven't we haven't really done anything to it so now let's just go ahead and start so here is here is the data frame so if you're new here thanks for joining us this is what we do we build one step upon another. So all right, we're going to learn about the transform uh, method for a data frame and then also we're going to learn how to add add columns and then well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to so we also have the total birth per year if you recall we did that a little bit ago but if we wanted to do something with this this becomes very challenging and this isn't useful because they don't match so I want to show you len on well as you can see here the length of this is 108 the length of high is 53,896. Alright, this transform is what we're going to use. So we're going to use it on this uh, total birthday. And this is total birth per year. And this is pretty cool. So, Alright, total birth year then it goes it's almost the same group by actually we're gonna change it over here so I don't mistype so you see all right let's just do dir on transform oops help transform okay there's a whole lot of description here but this is what it does it increases it to the length of the original frame all right so I'm going to explain this like this so for every year because that's how we counted this we summed it for on the 1910 so it is going to have the same number corresponding 1910 years liked indexed for the N ND frame so let's change this and I'm going to show you how how it's done you go to count you still want to work this on count and then we do transform Let's stretch this out just a little bit so we can see it because it might go off the page. Transform, then, and we want to do this on a sum function. So now, let's run this and let's see what total birth year is. Boom. 53,896. So, all right, picture's worth a thousand words. It went back and created the same quantity of index of years for each corresponding year. Does that make sense? So, now the reason why you want to do this is so now you can put this inside that data frame and I'm going to show you how. So all right, it's literally this simple. And 
let's change this a little bit. So we do high, and we're going to add a column, and let's make it births. year okay and then we just give it this frame data frame total birth year you got me all right there we go <laughs> To check this out so now we've learned how to add a column because our what our ultimate goal is let's do a an additional column so we can do percents of this name off the total births that year so now now let's add another one and you do it like this and we're gonna do some arithmetic so name uh, let's do percent of births and then you just do the math and we go off of the columns so it's high and has to be correct just like we did right here has to be correct uh, case sensitive. And then divided by, let's put some space in here so we can see it. Hi, and then we did birth year. And let's close this out. And, oops, let's see what I spelled wrong. Births. And boom. <laughs> Here we go. And let's see. Now let's get this. That's a complete decimal. Let's multiply this by 100 to get this closer to a percent. And here we are. And that is that. So that is how you go about extending a data frame to match the size of another data frame with transform and how you go ahead and add a column to another data frame. So, all right. I think that's about all we're gonna do with this. I might have one, I'll have to go back and check my notes. I don't know if this is the one we wanna do some stacking uh, or if I have a different example. I should have looked before I started bringing this up, so I apologize, but that is that. Um, please leave any comments, questions, or any video requests below. If I miss something on this, please give me a shout out and I will go over it in more detail. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking, and stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.